Alright, welcome Welcome back Um, today we're gonna do something a little different It's, I thought about this for quite a while now And I couldn't do this sort of video I'm gonna do a product review And because I couldn't do these videos Well, I feel like I couldn't bring the highest quality of these product review Was because I didn't have an overhead rate but now I do, as you can see here, I have an overhead rig and it's actually quite perfect. I just used my old Sony, an EX5 I think, or three as the overhead because I don't think this grip arm can support that much weight. I did think about using the Canon 80D, but I just thought, nah, the color's gonna be off. I just use Sony systems, but this I'm excited. This whole series is going to be about products that are on the lower, cheaper end, but still high quality. Like, because obviously starting out, you can't, you don't have that much money to invest in very high quality gear. I mean, you should, but you're just starting out. You're still a student, so you kind of don't have much money. But this is what this series is going to be about. So the first thing, and I think this is going to be good for a lot of people out there is, hold up, let me grab the product first. So one thing that I, oh, sorry. So one thing I do recommend for everyone starting out, obviously most people are starting out with vlogging or just shooting on the go or like travel or food or just in general I would recommend something to steady your camera because not all camera have IBIS or in-camera body stabilization so what I've been using for quite a while now was the Joby Gorillapod so as you can see here this is the 3k version so it's not the one with the Arca Swiss plate. It's the one with this quick release that they have. So it's the same thing all around. You can just bend it however you want. Like just set it up like that. Just however you want. But one thing that kept bugging me about this was that the 5K one the quick release plates, they use the Arca Swiss, which most, which is not this one. They use the one that most like tripods, most camera gear uses, but this one is just a quick release. So you can't really clamp this onto anything else besides this one. So it became a hassle that every time I get home, I want to set up my main angle on my tripod I have to take this off, unscrew this, put it down, screw on the actual plate, and then put it on the tripod. So what I found today, I was, I just, on my way home, I just went and stopped by the camera shop. So I'm gonna put this aside. So on my way home, I was looking and I found this thing. It's by a brand called Ulanzi. You probably heard of it. They've been pretty popular lately for cheap, cheap camera gears. But this one, the price tags right here, you probably just don't read it. All right. But this, the good thing about this is that here, let me, let me just open it. So let's take this out. You have two little hex tools that comes in the box. We'll set this aside. But yeah, this is what you get. And for the price of this, this is actually made pretty, pretty sturdy. Like it's not those like light little tripods that you see, but it's, just, it's actually pretty steady and the legs is, extends out a little bit. So it's it just goes like this, stands up about 
So about, you can like hold it with two, two hands. I have pretty small hands, but for the most part, if you have a wide angle lens on your camera, this should be fine. And what's cool about, so you retract the legs by pushing on the, these two sides. Just push it in like that, that, just like that. And what's nice about this is that this plate is actually a mini, it's actually a mini Arca Swiss plate, like a tiny one compared to, let me bring an example. So this is the Arca Swiss plate that most camera has. So what you can tell is by these two jagged, these two jagged lines or indents and this is basically the same thing see so what's cool about this is that this you can put arc swiss plate on and just screw in and that's actually really nice because now with this either i can use this to vlog or or i can just unscrew this and keep this, this thing. And then unscrew this, put this thing on. And now basically I can just put my camera on this and just use the Arca Swiss plate. So now whenever I get home, just unscrew this and put it on the tripod. So that's super handy, but Lately, I'm still, I haven't tested real world test with this tripod because the whole point everyone was using a Gorillapod or the Joby Gorillapod was because of how you can set it down at different angles. So for example, I have like, I can just do this, do this, just set it up wherever, adjust which is fine, but then when you have to get it all back up, you have to do this, all this, and sometimes it's not right and you don't feel it, which takes a little bit of time, not a lot, but lately I'm thinking, do I really need that, vers that much versatility in like my tripod legs? Or can I just get away with extending this out and just aim this thing down and just have it like this. So like at this angle, because this, if I need to set it up, just open it up, have it angle me and I'm all done. So that's, I'm still thinking, I haven't, sh I'm not sure yet. Maybe if you see my next camera bag video, you'll probably know what I decide on. But either way, I'm gonna be using this head for either this tripod or this tripod. Not about this tripod. We're reviewing this tripod. Another cool thing is this tripod, it has a cold shoot mount on the side. It's kind of like the one that lately has been pretty popular, the PGY Tech Mantis Pro, Mantis Pod Pro, I think. But that one also has this, so you can just, let me see, do I have any, my microphone's on the camera right now. Hold up. So for example, with just like this light, it's also by Wulan Z. This is actually a pretty, pretty good light, but we're not talking about this light. I'm just using this cold shoe mount and just, you can just slide it in, screw it down, and you can angle it however you want. Just like that. And you have a little light right here. And just unscrew that. So 
I'm thinking of switching to this tripod maybe, but I haven't decided yet. Oh, let me just tell you, this comes in at about, I guess in US dollars, it would be about 33, 33 bucks. But in Taiwan, this costs uh, 9.90. So divide by 30, that'll get you what the American currency was. It's just so small, so easy to take out. And I might just switch to this. I don't know. But one thing that I chose to pick this tripod up was because of the whole Arca Swiss plate. Because I wanted to get my setup as streamlined as possible. So none of the switching out plates, putting this plate on, and then putting it on. So now all I need to do, let me show you an example. I just need to take my camera off. So take it off like this and just hold up. Open the legs up, put it down, and then and like this, just angle it up. And that's done. So no more of the fiddling around with the tripod legs and all that. And if I need to vlog, all I have to do is angle this down and just extend these legs out. And this would be my vlogging setup, just like that. Obviously, the mic goes down here, like just like this. How good is that? It's so fast. And once I don't need it, just that's so quick. Like this is what I look for when I buy new gear. Like obviously there are the shiniest, newest gear, but to me, stuff like this, where it gets you just super streamlined, that's what I'm all about. And it's actually relatively cheap. It's not expensive at all. So this is, I haven't even talked about the name yet. This is the Ulanzi MT22 mini tripod. And I actually would 100% recommend this over the Joby Gorillapod. Although yes, the, the Gorillapod you can just hang it off of a lot of things. But for the most part, when I used it, it's never really came in handy. And sometimes this, sometimes it's stiff, sometimes it's super bendy. So it's like you're trusting your camera on top of this, which I kind of don't really trust. I, I'm i super scared whenever I talk to a camera and when I set it down or hanging off a branch or a railing. But with this, I know that, all right, I just need to look for a place that's kind of high and just set it down. And I know it's not going anywhere. It's not going to tip over. It's not going to, no. It's just going to stay right there. But yeah, that's my review of the Ulanzi MT-22. 100% recommend this tripod for people out there who wants to get a vlogging tripod. Like this is sturdy. And when you hold it like this, it just feels right. Like I don't know how to say it, but it just feels right. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. It's just gonna short, quick gear review that I found 
that I really enjoyed. I'll try to find a link and put it down below for you guys to go and check it out. But for now, that's all I got today. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want and hit the bell to get notified of future reviews like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Be unknown.